and saturated steam. So at the steam fridge, you normally do the separation of the brain from the saturated steam. So the, the brain now is rejected back to the brain. The brain is a bit rejection. So once this uh, is done, yeah, the condensate is now in the gases. So the non-condensable gases occupy space within the condenser. So we have to extract one, either the injector system or the vacuum pumps. So once this gas is extracted, it's an overview of how we generate electricity in our kind. Thank you. Thank you. historic i mean we hold germany in great respect great being given where you sit in the economy of the world economies and for you to be in our career we don't take it for granted thank you very much and we really appreciate coming to share with us on this historic visit what we've done in kenya to be able to stand at 92 percent renewable energy today in our career like when i also checked a bit of your history and when you went to Shuarin to commission the northern part of Germany to commission the direct use of steam in your geothermal plant, uh, you will appreciate what geothermal can do. Geothermal is inexhaustible and a source of energy unlike solar and um, wind, it's available 24-7, 365 days. And here in Olkaria today, we have 1,100 megawatts of geothermal going into the grid, both from Kenjan and from the concessioners like OMAT, who generate 150 megawatts. We have another 450 megawatts steam, which is available to be converted to energy, and which has been developed courtesy of the German support through KFW, and we want to say thank you and we really appreciate. Today, we are opening a new field in Baringo Silali uh, with 80 million euros courtesy of your government through the KFW, where we already have some 45 megawatts. You basically went into a green field, we did the ground survey, we did the water, we did the, and today we have drilled some five wells, uh, giving us up to 45 megawatts. There was the twinning of studies and technologies to be able to support, get the Kenyan labor to support the German economy through the twinning of training and things like that. I think we can also twin um, the German technology, the great German technology, with our geothermal. My CEO has just mentioned the fact that the first geothermal wells came into play some 45 years ago. We've just terminated the equipment to put in a new equipment. The steam wells still run good today. 45 years later, the steam wells are doing well, the equipment is being retired and we are putting in new equipment to support the steam wells which have been running for 45 years uh, to date. I think with German technology we can do some twinning and basically secure the world and planet Earth for generations to come if we get the kind of equipment that can sustain and work beyond 40 years. The wells have proven that they can really outlive 45 years and uh, we can be able to really and surely get the renewable energy running our economies. What can we do to make the cost of geothermal? Today we despite geothermal at about 7 cents US. You felt it was expensive, but the money we get is concession for about 20, 25 years. And so we get PPS for 20 years. If we're able to get PPS for 30 years, for 40 years, uh, subject to the repayment of the, of the facilities that we have, it's likely and possible that we can bring the cost of geothermal to three cents, four cents, and therefore when we move that energy from uh, geothermal, which is 100% green, to green hydrogen, we know the economics of green hydrogen, we can go to green ammonia, and given the pricing of ammonia, world pricing today at about $1,000 per metric ton, we can really play against the ammonia that comes out of gray, gray, gray hydrogen, and secure this world by ensuring that we accelerate the development of green hydrogen because what will drive green hydrogen is the pricing of energy. And so the pricing, what we do together to secure this planet, 
uh, will be great and I want to really appreciate your coming here today. With Kenya sitting at 92% today uh, of geothermal and with a capacity and developed capacity of about 9 gigawatts, we can walk the journey together towards the new frontier of green hydrogen, maybe green ammonia, green fertilizer, green jobs, and those opportunities do exist because we sit in the ring of fire. The 10, 9 gigawatts which we have not developed today is already, the ground service studies have been done and we can continue to work together to actualize what we need to do together to secure this planet Earth given the challenges of climate change today. We all believe on the layered crisis that the world is facing that necessitate urgent action. In Africa and Kenya particularly, the crisis at hand sums up on a climate crisis where we've come from a dry spell. The Germans who live in Kenya know that we've had a big challenge where our hydros, which are 800 megawatts of hydros, which are supposed to develop up to 30% mixed to the grid, came down up to 10%. And because of geothermal, we were able to support the country and we didn't do any load shedding. Uh, of course, we have a power trade with Ethiopia, and I will not like to end before mentioning one of your great company, Siemens, which developed one of the base stations that handles up to 2,000 megawatts. All the power that gets out of this place, there's a base station just behind me called Suswa, which was developed by Siemens. It terminates today 200 megawatts out of Ethiopia, terminates about 1,000 megawatts out of this old carrier, and takes them to the load centers. That was done by Siemens. I would like to acknowledge Siemens if any representative is here, and thank you for giving us that German technology. Um, COP26, COP27, COP28 comes with great promises, and what we are doing in Kenya, we have promised to be 100% by 2030. You had my president challenging me yesterday to do it slightly earlier, and I think we can do it. Uh, Your Excellency will be able to do it, because a bit of our non-renewable energy is the fossil fuel diesel generation which we basically use for picking and with green hydrogen coming we're thinking of using power that would otherwise go to developing green hydrogen to pick uh, in the evening when our homes and the industry is running so that we are 100 percent green so i want to promise what my president did challenge me as you witnessed that we'll take this country and achieve the 2030 target much earlier than 2030.